There's what what can you say? What can you say? I think that bit of screaming we did a moment ago was <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, there's that. What, what, what in? The Scarecrow Man draws closer, dragging its long, ungainly metallic arm behind it. Sakuya, watch out! Its arm slices through the air, smashing the window into tiny shards which scatter across the hallway floor. We don't know what it is, but apparently it isn't friendly. <laughs> Sophia, we have to run. I I am well aware. I wonder if it will be friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> did, did we did we lose it? And, and are pigeons capable of panting? Uh, yes. Yes, I, they are. I think so. We have to make sure to keep realism of the utmost uh, importance <laughs> in this. <laughs> Obviously, we wouldn't want to. We wouldn't want the narrative to break down. Uh, lucky it moves so slowly. Well, I just realized what they're running from, and it's making me sad. Yes. What? What was it? Surely, no one could devise a prank as bizarre as that. It looked like a biped. It was humanoid, but I don't think it was a human. I've never heard of a human made out of metal and burlap. A, a murder, the dome, and now this. I, I know not who's behind these trickeries, but they must have a death wish to mock me so. For now, we have to get back to the lab. We need to warn Mr. Nanaki. Should keep him from falling asleep for a while, at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, welcome back, Kawara and Shirogani. You know what's the... It's actually um, kind of brilliant in hindsight, but uh, Kazuaki Nanaki does not fall asleep once in the entirety of BBL. Mm -hmm. huh. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, since I'm up, would you like some tea? <laughs> Is this really the time? We cannot afford to relax now, Professor. Hmm. So, I take it something happened? Uh, the Headmaster. He must have been hiding from the Scarecrow. It smashed the window. Calm yourself, Kawara. You become incoherent. S S sorry. We were attacked by a giant creature outside the headmaster's office. It was a bizarre thing, like a scarecrow in appearance. A scarecrow? Yeah. Did a pretty good job of scaring pigeons, too. <laughs> <laughs> like the ones humans used to make. It attacked us, and we ran back here. I don't think the ones the humans used to make attacked them. It's okay. <laughs> it was slow, but... Its arm was heavy and dangerous. Are the other students still in the gymnasium? Probably not all of them. If there's something dangerous in here, we should probably tell every birdie to stay together in the gym. Yeah. Where it can kill them in one place. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. The plot thickens indeed. Now, not only are we trapped under this confounded dome, but now it seems we must contend with this monstrous new guest. I wonder what the Scarecrow Man's connection to all this is. A Scarecrow Man, you say? The Doctor! Fascinating. I've never cut into one of those. I'd love to get my hands on it. <laughs> oh, I don't have hands. <laughs> <laughs> have you finished the autopsy, Doctor? Yes, for now. I was. Nice. A... 
Oh, sorry, carry on. I was going to say, nice job getting back to us when you finished, like you said you were going to then. <laughs> well, in his defense, we were a bit busy running for our lives. What I is that? I was awake here the whole time, don't worry. See? See? Thank you, Mr. Nanaki. Hmm, you two may well have a right to know what I've found, given your efforts towards the investigation. I shall try to state simply and briefly what I have learned from the lumps of meat which once were Miss Calante. And what shapely lumps? <laughs> Control yourself, Kawara. Falling out amongst ourselves would only do us harm. Not likely. Even I want you to punch me in the face for saying that. It is rather insensitive, but I... Uh, so am I. <laughs> <sighs> I know. <laughs> anyway, we lack the tools for a proper examination, but... Like hands. <laughs> the cause of death was asphyxiation. There are no signs of any strangulation or smothering, so either she was poisoned or sick. She was dismembered after death, then, Doctor. It would appear so. There is little evidence of bleeding, so we may assume that she was cut up some time after death. Teo is one of the healthiest people I know. She couldn't have become that quick uh, that's sick that quickly. Oh, don't be surprised. <laughs> Meaning, someone poisoned her. Or that. Why? For the sake of the grotesque, or to make her easier to carry, or for some other reason? Disgusting, either way. I suppose I should also tell you the estimated time of death. Obviously, I cannot be completely certain, but... Oh, yes, you can. I believe that Miss Calante died yesterday, after school. In the evening, then? Precisely. And she was found this morning. In other words, unless she was seen yesterday afternoon, she may have been here all along. Kawara, her house, her cave rather, was near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday? After school? Um. Uh, no, I didn't. My mother asked me to run some errands, so I went straight home yesterday. That's right. I went home alone. It's too late to regret it now, but maybe if I'd just asked her to walk home with me. Or maybe that was the problem. Hmm. I see. Perhaps we should ask any other students with whom she was close. She does get around the hussy. <laughs> <laughs> You're going out again? Be careful. It sounds like wandering around the school could be dangerous. You don't say. <clears throat> don't worry. We can outrun the Scarecrow if it shows up again. Incidentally, I went home early yesterday too. I left as soon as class ended. So, I only know what Ryuta has told me. I wish I had some useful information, but... I was in the infirmary right up until I returned home as usual. I know nothing of what happened in the rest of the school, sadly. I'd so, love to know the details. So, neither Mr. Nanaki nor Dr. Iwamine, Iwamine saw Teo yesterday afternoon. Actually, Shu or Murderbeaks there just lied by omission, but he didn't actually say anything that wasn't true. Actually, well... Oh, right. Can we ask a favor of you, Mr. Nanaki? A favor? The headmaster's office is locked. We think he might be hiding in there. If there's a spare key to his door, can we use it? A spare key? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Great timing there. 
That could not have been better. Get grave. I've been, Shush, yeah. I've been scared out of my wits now, so I can't remember. Uh, th there might be one in the faculty room. I'll ask the vice principal for you. If he's still alive. Thank you, sir. We'll be back soon. Be careful out there. You too, sir. Wait, who's the vice principal? Sakuya. <laughs> Kawara is a strange boy. I wonder why he lied about going straight home. Hmm. We won't be able to talk to the headmaster until we have that key. Let us work on the murder case until then. Right. We should ask everybody where they were yesterday. The doctor said he was in the infirmary until he went home. I wonder if we can trust him. No. About as far as you can throw him. Actually, Although that's actually pretty far. Throw him, yeah. No, 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 no. Other birds. Oh, other birds. True. Do not bias yourself with baseless suspicions, Kawara. Yeah, I know. I think maybe you trust him a little too easily, Sakuya. You don't say. He is a world authority, but that doesn't make him honest. You know nothing of what that means. The head of the Bell family, my father, was once crippled with a chronic illness. He was cured by medicines developed by Dr. Murderbeaks. He makes medicine? Save the sleep talk for your dreams. Have you no idea what contributions he's made to the medical world? I, I didn't know. I thought he was some kind of mad scientist cooking up nothing but death and all around woe. Admittedly, I do have good reason for that. You've become biased by the foolish rumors of the pheasantry. Reconsider yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just knew we were going to say that. I couldn't resist. I apologize. In any no case, apology needed. the LaBelle family is indebted to him. The noble bird will never treat a benefactor with disrespect. So that's why he's so polite to the doctor. Doesn't that make him biased as well, though? Sakuya biased? No. Anyway, let's go. Very well. Where shall we go to now? Oh, does this give us does this give us a save point early or yes. later or or, yep. or skip it entirely? I don't know. Uh, let, let's go over here. Just to... I totally can't remember. Never look a gift save point in the mouth, Mister One. Hmm. Oh, you two again! Come in. How goes the investigation? Well, I hope. We went to the headmaster's office as you requested. It was locked, however. Yeah, we got attacked by this weird thing outside there. I'm glad you're okay. The office isn't that far from... Was that thing a muddy scarecrow-like man, perhaps? Yuya! In the flesh, mon ami. <laughs> nice. So you've seen it too. Just now, yeah. On the second floor. Oh lord, that thing can climb stairs? <laughs> oh goodness. I caught a glimpse of it from behind at the other end of the corridor and didn't stick around to let it see me. So alas, I was not blessed with a look at its pretty face. Only it's pretty behind. <laughs> oh, coward. Lech. Hey, Did we ran it? away as soon as we saw it, too. Anyway, it sounds like it's wandering around the building. Maybe it would be better for you to leave, Mr. One. Don't worry for me, young one. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. Because I'm a ghost. 
You two aren't planning to call off your investigation because of a bad guy or two either. Well, yeah, that's true. Hmm. Already stuck in a rut of unadaptable middle age. <laughs> Don't come crying to us if you get hurt. I've come within touching distance of death in the past. I will be fine. I wonder what kind of death comes that close to a maintenance worker. Well, now he's just in touching age. distance of you yet. Then again, knowing this school, there could be all all kinds of evil going on behind the scenes. Yeah. Well then, what are you standing around for? I believe orders were given for everyone to gather in the gymnasium to avoid the scarecrow. Same goes for you. Why aren't you headed over there? Uh, Touche. Uh, ha ha! I can't just sit around. Indeed. Same here. Uh, me too, what they said. That's totally a good, a good answer. Yes, yes, quite. Hence, walking around the school. On that note, I'd better go to the lab. Professor Nanaki wanted me there. Not like that. <laughs> oh, what for? Or maybe. Something you asked him to do. Kinky. Don't incriminate me like this. Oh. <laughs> ah, he wants you to help him keep an eye on Dr. Murderbeaks. Most likely, yes. The doctor and Teo, that is. Yes, because who knows what sort of trouble Tail could get up to at this point. <laughs> She's rolling away! Anyway, you two go on with your... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, carry on. Anyway, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over her, so don't worry. The sad part is, in a way, yes, she is kind of uh, walking away. Yeah. Right. That's called tempting the game, I think. <laughs> Wait. Oh lord, what have I done? Yeah. According to the autopsy, Calante died after school yesterday. Did you see her during that time? Yesterday evening, huh? What did the doctor say? Just that he'd been in the infirmary all day. It's worth noting that he checked what the doctor's alibi was before he answered. I was there too. We were inspecting and cleaning all day so I can verify the doctor's alibi. I told you not to doubt him without evidence, Kawara. Ah, right. At this point, the prime suspect is that scarecrow, anyway. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's everything? Well, adieu! We should head out, too. But first, let's write down what we found. Save your progress? <laughs> <laughs>